from our studios in New York City, it's the Martha Stewart Show. On today's show, come with me on a magical tour of Iceland. From exquisite craftsmanship to traditional recipes and new Nordic love, yes, oh. it's going to be a great ride through Iceland. Next. has never before been in front of an audience like this. Come on, come on. This is Dog Fari, and welcome to today's show. Let me introduce you to our first guest, Dog Fari, known as Cookie. He's here because today's show celebrates the really special place that he comes from. It's an island in the North Atlantic, uh, just south of the Arctic Circle, directly east of Greenland. It's Europe's westernmost country. Iceland several years ago and had the best tour guys. Olafur Ragnar Grimson, a president of Iceland, and his wife Dorit. And I'm so happy because Dorit is here today. Please welcome to our studio the first lady of Iceland, Dorit Musaya. What's your friend's name, Doris? Stiggy. Stiggy, you're so beautiful. <gasps> yes. So um, we're all going to learn about Icelandic horses later on in the show, but Dorit, tell everyone about your role as First Lady of Iceland. My role as First Lady of Iceland is not really defined. Icelanders are extremely resourceful. They do a great deal for me. They teach me a great deal. All I can do for them is make all of you appreciate how wonderful I When we decided to do a show on Iceland, I wanted my neighbor, Nikki Esdorn, to be a part of it. Nikki has been riding Icelandic horses for 20 years and is very knowledgeable about the breed. And to prepare Munching for on her a sugar cube. Boy, you do a lot of good with that sugar cube. And Martina was on her spectacular stallion, uh, Stigandi, and Nikki rode her silver gray named Hauker Freyr. And to teach us more about these beautiful creatures, please welcome my friend and riding partner, Nikki Esdorn. Where are you, Nikki? Ah, here she comes. <laughs> So beautiful. Those great big manes and the wonderful long tails. They're very elegant. Ah, oh. hi, Stiggy. Mm -hmm. Stiggy's behaving very nicely. Mm -hmm. So what made you want to ride Icelandics? What, why is this your horse of choice? Martha, I've never had more fun on horseback than on an Icelandic. So uh, tell mm -hmm. us all about it. They, mm -hmm. they, these horses have mm -hmm. special gaits. They're small in stature, but they are powerful and healthy. Yes, yes, they are. And they mm -hmm. have five gates, some of them. Yes, they do. All of them or just? Uh, Stigandi here has four fabulous gates. Dogfari has five. Five. And what are they? There's like walk? It's walk, trot, canter or gallop. And then they have their fabulous tolt, which you experienced And last we have Saturday. a picture of us tolting. Is that yeah. tolting or gallop? No. This that's... is tolting. Oh, yes. This there is we tolt, are. Tolting. The signature gate of the Icelandic horse. It is fast and fun and spirited. You can ride it slower, but you don't have to. And you see um, and Martina's not it's, moving. Her body doesn't move. Yeah, you move. see it's very smooth. I'm not being bounced around. No. Uh, it's really, really fun. You feel like a million bucks They're when you ride it. They're little steps. Hmm? Little steps, but like, many. <laughs> right. And what about the flying pace? That's a little no, bit faster. That's uh, a serious racing gait. And here is my friend Christian Christiansson from Thor Icelandics and Klavrak firing up his oh, mare's wow. shoulders, going Ooh, flying pace. And you see me going. galloping behind him, and I couldn't catch him. You, oh. as, I rode this horse as fast as I could. Now, what we do in Iceland a lot, uh, and what we now do here, is when the horses have gone all out for us, we take the saddle off. We say, go be a horse, roll around in the dirt. And this mare is really enjoying herself. Oh. Look at look and at that blonde mane. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they can roll like, like crazy, can't they? Yeah. They're very <laughs> agile. Now, how are these uh, horses mm -hmm. used in Iceland, not just for riding, but 
They are, they are workhorses really too? predominantly always a riding horse. Oh, they are? Yes. Oh. Uh, they needed to be ridden to transport, ev to go everywhere, to take people everywhere. Iceland hasn't had roads oh. until 1790. So I went on one of these like rides, and it was so much fun. When my friends in Iceland go out riding, they take a lot of loose horses along, so they have a spare. They go into the mountains on vacation, and they camp there at the hot springs. And they bring the horses along. The horses are a big part in their and, life and, and they culture. just come along without reins, without, without anything. Yes. Yes, and they just come and, it's and, unlike, and hang, they all hang out. Yeah, it's unlike I've ever seen before. <laughs> this is so much yeah. fun. And mm -hmm. uh, for all of you who are more mm -hmm. interested in, uh, in Icelandics, uh, you can go to our website. We'll put a lot of information about these beautiful horses on the, on the website. And, uh, and there, I'm sure there are lots of wonderful Icelandic um, websites, too. Yes, there are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone in particular that you like? Well, Icelandics.org is okay. the North, uh, United States Icelandic Horse Congress website. Um, and you can go everywhere from there. Well, I look forward to riding with you again sometime. I would love I to. Would, it was would very love much that fun. Too. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. be right back. Thanks, mm -hmm. Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. And the so horses. Great. And the horses. And uh, thank you also to Icelandic Consulate's office and everyone else who helped make this such a great show. Have a great day.